it worked really well. Watch carefully. The goose stops the bleeding. No pressure needed. You have instant stopping of bleeding, uh, but also you have a biocompatible layer that your cells can grow into, so it speeds up the wound healing process. Landolina believes Betty Gel could someday stop internal bleeding, heal bed sores and burns, and even treat sports injuries. Before then, his product will be used in animals and is currently undergoing more tests for use in humans. We expect to see it you know, on the belt of every soldier, you know, on the shelf of every veterinarian, and in the purse of every mom. Landolina tells us he was inspired by his love of chemistry and a business competition at his university. He had the idea. He hooked up with another student who had the business savvy. He says now they both feel the sky is the limit. What an incredible thing <laughs> he's been able. What a smart kid. No. But, uh, how does the science of this work here, Chuck? You know, basically what he's doing is he's hijacking a plant. So he's making the plant create proteins that mimic what is in human skin. So when he puts it on the wound, it actually, um, it actually makes the skin or the, the cells respond just like skin would and it closes off the wound. Wow, well, how does this compare to other blood stuff products? You know, there are other things on the market. A lot of them are being used overseas with our soldiers. Um, some of them you have to put pressure on. Other ones have to be frozen. Some have to be heated up. But again, this one comes from plants, so he says it's relatively cheap and easy to make. And in addition to that, it doesn't require any refrigeration or freezing. Well, we, we bleed all over our body here, from a little prick on the finger yeah. to uh, something really potentially lethal. Mm -hmm. That's very serious. Here. It really is. And, you know, one of the things he mentioned were there's so many people on blood thinners, and so when they get cuts, a lot of times they bleed excessively. Um, you know, large wounds, of course, trauma. And so he also sees this first um, ending up in veterinarians' office, offices because it's easier to get that approved and then move forward with the FDA and hopefully go to humans. Well, this is a big step forward. It really is. really encouraged about that. Oh, yeah, it's great it's... to hear you bring up new ideas here. And here's a new one that's going to save a life one day. Yeah, and a, I mean, and a college student. My goodness, <laughs> how student. wonderful. <laughs> uh, Dr. Joe, thank you. Thank you. Kelly? All right, thank you, John.